Farley, how motivated were you to make an impact in game one last weekend? Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of motivation just with everything going on. But, you know, I was just trying to control what I could control and, and do whatever I was asked to do. And, um, you know, for unfortunately, we weren't able to come out with the win. So time to evaluate ourselves and see what more of an impact we can have on, on the next one. When you think back to that game, what do you think you personally did best and what in what ways can you still improve moving forward? Um, yeah, I think there's a couple of technique um, things that I think towards the end of the game, I, you know, whether it was fatigue or whatever that I kind of, um, you know, need to work on and, and continue to get better at. Um, overall, you know, game one, knowing schemes and stuff, I felt comfortable out there. I felt that the coaching staff, um, you know, did a great job of preparing us um, to know what our schemes were and things like that. And um, when it came to those, I felt comfortable. So that was that was a good thing for game one and a new offense. John? Yeah, Briley, I was going to ask about the, the play on the fourth down conversion that you caught near the sideline. Did you have an idea going into it like that? Hey, that play's likely coming to me that's designed for me? Um, it was actually a check. Um, and from the point that he checked the play, I knew it was coming to me. Um, and, you know, Skyler did a great job of putting the ball outside of where the defender um, could catch it, made it an easy catch for me. Um, and I think that just shows the type of um, football player and really leader and uh, commander of the offense that Skyler is to be able to go up there fourth and two, I think it was, um, mm -hmm. and make a, make a check and make a big time throw um, to keep the chains moving. So I would ask you, to you, how much does that reiterate, hey, this, this is a guy that really has a lot of trust in me already early in my career here at K-State? Yeah, I think I think that's a pretty good indicator um, of, I mean, not just me and him, but just the, the comfort level that there is overall um, with our players. Um, it happened to be me and him on that specific play. Um, and, you know, it just – it shows that he's comfortable – uh, putting the ball in, in people's hands. Um, you know, if there was somebody else in that situation, he'd have done the same thing. Um, but I think it really shows his comfort level and um, his confidence that he has in our offense. Appreciate it, Bradley. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, hey, Briley. Um You know, going back and, and looking, I believe in the last 28 years, no – player has come out and caught six passes in his first game in a Wildcat uniform. So congrats on that. But Thank my you. question is that it just seemed like you and Skyler were just out there playing catch, man. I mean, um, the, the things between you two just kind of, was that kind of a product just of what you guys are about as a duo? Um, yeah, I think it's a product of, you know, a relationship that is, much longer than just my few months here. Um, you know, like we've, we've talked about many times, it's um, growing up knowing each other as well as in the summers we're working out together and not realizing that um, we were going to have opportunity to, to make plays together in the same field. Um, and his leadership of, you know, from the moment that I got here, really the moment that I decided to transfer here, um, of, you know, walking me through, okay, we do this on this scheme. This is what I'm looking for. Um, you know, we watched film together throughout last week and, and kind of got on the same page on certain things. And uh, so it's just, you know, being on the same page <clears throat> together on the field is, you know, makes things like that fourth down conversion easier because I know what he's seeing and he knows what I'm seeing. Um, and so I look forward to improving on things like that and our comfort level and um, in that area, uh, you know, to moving forward. You weren't the only uh, new guy, obviously, um, in this offense or defense, for that matter. Um, yep. Many true freshmen, uh, five true freshmen, saw action in the first game. When you think of this true freshman class, just what stands out about them? What you know, it seems like they might be able to produce more than typical freshman classes. Yeah, I think it's uh, one of the biggest aspects is maturity. You know, these guys aren't coming in here um, as immature freshmen that that don't care. They're they're coming in here bought in. And um, I think, you know, the main the main product of that has been, as we've seen, was Deuce. And he, I mean, 
he had a great game, some explosive plays. He has some things you can't teach. Um, mm -hmm. And for him to come in game one as a true freshman um, and do the things that he did, it just shows how mature he is um, and how much he's really bought in and how much film he watched during the week. Um, things that, you know, you might not see from a lot of, of guys at that age. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll go two more here, Sully and then Kellis. Go ahead, Sully. Uh, on that touchdown catch, obviously man, you were juiced there, and uh, you know, kind of have that feeling. And then you have Skyler also sort of tackling you on the field there. Can you just sort of take us through that moment? Yeah, it, honestly, it was just unreal. Um, you know, I knew knew the play call that there was potential to be a touchdown, and from the moment that I seen the ball released from Skyler's hand to getting back to the sideline after he tackled me, <laughs> um, it was just honestly, it was unreal. It felt amazing and you know I wish wish we could have done done more um to come out with a, a victory so we could actually you know celebrate the first touchdown but um you know in the moment it was absolutely amazing Skyler gave a great great ball um in the soft spot behind the behind the defense um and yeah so it was it was an it was an unreal experience Definitely. And, you know, we're not sure if you'll ever get to play a game in the bill at full capacity, but for that minimum capacity crowd plus the band, what was the environment like that on Saturday? There was, I can't remember the exact moment in the game, but I think it was a third down that it honestly caught me off guard how loud it actually got. Third down uh, for Arkansas State. It, it caught me off guard how long it actually, or how loud it actually got out there um, with just, you know, 20% capacity or whatever that number may be. Um, so when I I, it, I thought about it at the time, I was like, I can't imagine what this place is like, full capacity and everybody going crazy on third down. Um, but, you know, we're thankful for, for the fans that came out and supported and um, all the fans that, that watched. And, uh, you know, we're going to do our best to, to make sure we get this, this ship going in the right direction for everybody. Thanks, man. Yep. Last one right here, Kels. Yeah, Bradley, what was the biggest challenge about trying to help the offensive line block when they've got guys getting injured in the game and, you know, switching positions seemingly every drive? What, what was that like? Um, you know, I, I would say that, you know, guys stepped up and, you know, it's whenever you get in the, the heat of the battle in a game like that, especially with everything going on um, that's unlike any other year, um, I, I'd really say that, you know, guys, guys did a good job of, of stepping up um, and being ready whenever their, their number was called, um, you know, with the outcome and the way the game went, we, we see that, you know, no matter who it is, whether it's a starter, whether it was a backup or a, a third string that came in, we got to be better from top to bottom. But, um, you know, going in there with, with guys that didn't get reps with the, with the first team throughout the week um, guys, you know, uh, I'd say guys competed um, whenever their name was called. 